Finally, I had done it. I journeyed Appalachia in search of a way into the Black Mountain Ordnance Works. In Dome Number 7 lay special loot. Loot that I had spent blood and bullets getting to. Loot I had waited for and needed. I approached and unlocked the door, and as I entered, on my left, there it lay, right in front of me. Is that paint, baby? Give me that lead. Here we go. Ladies, gentlemen, pristine pie deniers, welcome to an episode of something yet to be determined, but this needed made. Today I'm taking you along for, well, a recalibration of your loot table if you will. Unless you're a psycho with a death claw hand, you're gonna need bullets. And obviously to get those, well, you see when a mommy bulk lead and a daddy bulk lead love each other very much, they... Actually, let's just stay on the lead side of things. So when I went to the best tutorials I could find, they all said the same thing. So, uh, would you like to come in for some coffee? Oh, no, no, I have to go, uh, lift weights. What? I know, I know, you're thinking, Ginge, it's perfect. Lift the weights equals profit. Or, profit. There's just one problem. Starting out at the Charleston Fire Department weight room to grab a bunch... Shit. No worries, we'll jump over to Green County Lodge. Shit. It's fine, it's fine. The Palace of the Winding Path has a little room with some weights in it. Shit. So since these Alpha Chads never re-rack their weights, I consulted the stars and came up with the perfect alternative lead loot plan. First target... Paint. Let's head to my secret paint stash at West Tech while we consider what else we can loot for our roots. Use the right hand walkway to get up to the top and follow me for a total of 11 paint cans worth 5 lead each. While I do that, let's think about this. Hmm, paint, finger paint. Children love finger paint, and children also love lead, as clearly evidenced by the 50% lead blocks they're always stuffing in their mouth. Most children's toys contain lead actually, Cars and trucks and rockets and dear God, Fallout does hurt children. Rentus, Dominus. Enough of my ranting. Let's do a quick fast forward and get to the top so I can show you where this loot is. The yellow one here. Jump over to this center section on the southeast side and you should see blue, yellow, red, non-colored blue yellow and up at the top are a couple extra ones a yellow non-colored red blue one of each apparently and ooh pie now let's hit up a quick trio of paint locations for some efficient lead per weight looting if you find yourself near these and always need bullets they might be worth the detour we've got the monorail at morgantown with a nice stack of three The Nuka Quantum Armor Dome number 7 at the Black Mountain Ordnance Works from the beginning of the episode with another stack of three. And the Watoga High School Art Room holds another seven. Now that's 65 lead from those three locations and 55 from our first secret West Tech spot for a whopping 120 lead in just paint. Wow, we are killing it. Now let's set up some children's blocks locations and come up with another item to loot. One of the best loot spots for children's wooden blocks is Torrance House. If you head into the main building and up the staircase to your right, you should gain access to the terrace. Out into the left and then all the way around the side, you should find a couple of them behind this orange crate right here, some blue blocks. From there, you can head on up all the way to the top. And on the eastern side is a little table with a Comrade Chubbs and a bunch more wooden blocks. From here, we're headed to another close by children's room at the Overlook Cabins. But first, let's take a quick detour to the Hornwright Summer Villa Garage. Upstairs, we come across a disturbing discovery. What's this? 
Regarding the infestation, Wilbur, those damn kids are back sneaking around getting into my state, little bastards. Make sure you lay some sugar bombs with rat poison and leave them out where you can find them. That is not what you're supposed to be doing with that. Luckily for us, rat poison contains an equal amount of lead to lead scraps, meaning it might just actually be liquid lead. Make sure you grab the combination wrench as well, and ooh, unsurprisingly for the Fallout universe, baby rattles contain lead as well. From there, we're going to head to the Overlook Cabins. While we're traveling, let's add a few items to our loot table to really max out the lead yields we get from the next few locations. In addition to the paint and poison, and the toys, we're going to want to watch out for lead batteries, empty cans, and one of my favorites, those combination wrenches like I just grabbed back in the garage. Those are two lead apiece and very plentiful in tool-like containers. When we finish stealing lead from a baby here, we'll head to four locations that combine all these items for notably high lead yield. This way, if you're out of weights or you've already looted the main paint and poison locations, you can still get a solid stash for those precious bullets. First up is Kanwa Cemetery on the west side of Appalachia. The first thing we'll do here is head straight into the center mausoleum for a couple of cans. When you're done with that, head straight to the back of the cemetery for a shed full of paint cans. When there, there's one uncolored paint next to the wheelbarrow outside of the shed three on the shelf inside, and one more on the ground for a total of five of the good stuff. When you've got those, we're heading into the adjacent church. Snag the first cap stash, and the alternative form of cap stash, if you will. before grabbing the poison from the front here, two on the bench to the back, both on the right and left side, and then heading upstairs to grab two more from a dresser drawer. That totals our visit here to five paint cans, five cans, and five poisons, topping the charts with 55 lead in just a few seconds. From here, we're headed to treetops on the other side of the map. We'll start by heading up six staircases and grabbing a single can on our way to the seventh. Up another one to the eighth are a bunch of toys. A rattle, five blocks, and a car. Not too shabby. The secondary platform straight ahead holds one more can for us, then we'll head to floor 9 where we can find a makeshift kitchen. Here is another tin can and rat poison. One can on the next bench. And another up two staircases by a pillow. The section after this has five of the big boys. Ooh, paint. Looks like four blues. And don't forget to get the uncolored one under the bench. Head up another staircase and find three batteries hiding Danny B's blocks for an additional five. These things gave me fits to loot, so hang in there, gents. Why, God, why? Next up is Valley Galleria to the northeast. Inside the store, the first thing we'll do is head to the room to our right and pick up a bunch of toys. An alien, a toy car, a rocket ship, and a toy truck. Two more blocks in the wall, totaling five. From there, we'll head northwest to the kitchen area for a couple of cans and a rat poison. Last one on the ground here for five cans total. From there, we're gonna head straight down the corridor to a supply closet. Outside the store, I do like to check the red rocket, just in case there are combination wrenches or a couple of cans. 
There's also a workbench in case you're getting a little full by now. The closet holds a paint and two more rat poisons. As you can see, I'm a sad panda and almost out of bullets. So I'll give you a couple special mention locations while I slap out some of these 50 cals. First up is abandoned bog town. In the upstairs main building are five uncolored paint cans as well as combination wrenches and there's some can chimes over on the super mutant side. The second place I'd have to say is Camden Park. Now most people know about this and they know it's full of can chimes which can be a nice combination for lead and steel. However, there's also a vendor bot named Chad who sells paint in his junk inventory. You know how I feel about paint. He really is a Chad. Some hefty lead bulk there, no problem. Okay, it looks like we've got 31 sets of 50s, 360 apiece, plus super duper. Now we're headed to Ella Ames Bunker in the North Mire. Woo! 12k should get me through the next day or two. Once inside the bunker, you're gonna head downstairs and through the first door. Right in front of you should be a kitchen area with a shelf holding two cans and a rat poison on the top. From there, you're gonna take a right and then a left into the supply closet where you can find enough cans to round your total out to 25. Make sure you grab combination wrenches and check all of these cupboards for additional wrenches as well. There's also a can of paint here. That's 25 cans, a paint can, and a rat poison, totaling 30 in just a couple of seconds. That's all I have for today, but thanks again for joining me on another Ginstradamus journey. If I helped you rewire your looting, or showed you any location or items full of lead you didn't know about, or really just helped you at all, please super sledge that like button and subscribe. Let me know if you'd like any semi-formal guides like this about any other loot or topic as well. Once again, happy hunting.